Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you are new. We are back with another trailer reaction. This is for the official trailer for the final season of The Umbrella Academy. I freaking love this show. I think this show is so fun, so interesting, so quirky, and I am sad that it is ending, but it's time has come. We've had a good run and it is now time to see it off with a, a bang. If you were unaware, I have reacted to multiple seasons of The Umbrella Academy on the channel already. I think the only season that I didn't watch on the channel was season one, but from season two onward, I have reactions for them on the channel, and then I also reacted to the previous trailer for the final season, and I'm super pumped. There has been a lot of recent, very negative news surrounding this show. Uh, which I'll talk about after uh, the trailer reaction, but taking that aside, I'm I'm pretty stoked about this uh, And I'm excited to jump in the trailer So before we do that if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video It means a lot to me if you're new here hit subscribe ring the bell so you're notified when I upload And then if you want to see the full uncut version of anything I watch on the channel including this show uh, Consider supporting me on patreon or joining YouTube memberships you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into the official trailer for the final season of The Umbrella Academy. We got a phone call, Ben. Hello? Don't hang up. Victor. Ben, just listen. There's something happening to you. And it's only gonna get worse. You're on pace to end the world in about 48 hours. 24, actually. Now come on. Wait, come Ben's gonna end the world? Why? Wipe off that makeup, what's in his despair. We want to show you. Is this something. Gerard Way singing? The world we live in is one big phony baloney lie. Nick Offerman, yeah, I was gonna say it sounds the like it. Tentacle him. boy is the key to understanding all the timelines. So get around, piggies and kiss this goodbye. I didn't encourage you. Jesus. The subway station time travels. Huh? God, that's tragic. Truly tragic. We need to fix this. Okay, can any one of you remember how Ben actually died? Ben died because we failed, failed as a team. team. And and what? Maybe that's not why he died. Is this gonna hurt? Indubitably. <laughs> Indubitably, good sir. It's time to face the inevitable. Now is the time for sacrifice! Yeah! Are we gonna do this thing? A cat, yeah. Okay, damn, Luther. I wouldn't miss what's coming for the world. Oh, that guy. Oh, emotions. August 8th, it's coming so quick. Okay, two quick points. Uh... Nick Offerman is a gem. <laughs> I will love him till the end of my days. He is fantastic. Uh, you know, from Parks and Recreation to recently The Last of Us, he is just incredible in pretty much everything he does. Uh, and so it's really awesome to see him in this show. Point number two, it's incredibly fitting to put a My Chemical Romance song <laughs> <laughs> in the trailer one uh, also a my chemical romance song that's called the end <laughs> uh, particularly because you know this is the end of the show but then also my chemical romance's frontman gerard way uh was responsible or partly responsible for the creation of the umbrella academy comics which is it's just very fitting, you know, it, they, they, they did they thang with the music choice. Now, in regards to the plot, <laughs> um, apparently Ben is 48 hours from ending the world, which is surprising. It, it seems like at least one of the siblings each season is on pace to end the world. 
for whatever reason. And for the final season, it is Ben. Um, it appears we're finally going to figure out what the frick happened with Jennifer. Uh, that's been like a long running question uh, amongst the fans of the show is like, what the frick was the Jennifer incident? Why, like, <laughs> are we going to learn more about that? Um, and how did Ben actually die? Uh, the, these are questions we've wanted the answers to for a while and we haven't really gotten them. And now it looks like they're finally gonna address that, which is pretty neat. Otherwise, like, it's it's classic Umbrella Academy, right? It is, uh, you know, goofy, silly, family, emotional, you know, all of that packed into one with just, a, just the tiniest hint of like satire thrown in there. And it's just a grand old time. Like, it's so fun. The show is incredibly fun. And I'm excited uh, for August 8th to be able to experience the Umbrella Academy. And I think I love every character except for Allison. Um, she sucks for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, but I love Klaus. I love Luther. Five, Diego. Um, Diego's girlfriend. I forgot her name. Ben. Love Ben. Oh my god, love Ben. And so I'm just like really excited to see all of them back uh, and being a family and being goofy and weird and it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, one thing I am not particularly excited for, which I guess technically is not necessarily something that's coming, but something that already happened. Uh, there were a whole bunch of uh, reports recently uh, that came out about the showrunner of the Umbrella Academy, you know, fostering seemingly an incredibly toxic work environment. You know, there were 10 or 12 people that came out and were like, this is an awful situation. This is incredibly toxic. Things need to change. Apparently there was a lot of like transphobia happening, which is super unfortunate given that one of the main cast members is trans. Uh, and so from everything I saw, like, it was just not a great situation at all, which gives me a little bit of trepidation going into the final season of like, you know, I want to watch the show, but do I want to support a showrunner who, you know, treated people like crap like that on the set, knowing, knowing that behind the scenes stuff was going down, like, does it kind of bring down your enjoyment of the show a little bit? Yeah, the showrunner of the Umbrella Academy, I believe was also like tasked with you know, heading up uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn show that was going to be going forward at Netflix because of these uh, reports that came out. That show has been shelved. Uh, I don't know if it's been canceled completely, but definitely that guy is not going to be show running it anymore. Um, and given, given the fact that, you know, I don't think Horizon Zero Dawn is like a behemoth of a media property that people are like, we need to keep pushing forward with this. My guess is that that show is now probably completely dead in the water, uh, which is really frustrating because those games are dope. Those games are an awesome, awesome time. Very underrated games. Um, and a, a show based on the world and that story would have been super cool. Um, but because you know, of this toxic work environment, that got canceled, which sucks. So that's, that's the one <laughs> bummer to this whole situation is all the outside the show things that happened. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we can, you know, push forward and finish the season strong, uh, finish the series strong and just kind of remember this show for the good moments that it had, you know, the incredibly uplifting family storylines, the incredibly uplifting and supportive family storylines regarding Victor, uh, given the real world um, transition of that actor uh, and and how they incorporated incorporated that into the story. I thought it was done super well. So it's, that's why it's extra surprising that to hear this behind the scenes stuff. Um, and then we had a whole bunch of other stuff with like Neil Gaiman that came out and it's like, makes it really hard to, you know, get excited for the Sandman season two. And it's just like, ah, uh, like this sucks. <laughs> like why do people have to be crappy people? Why can't everyone just be good people? <laughs> Sorry for ending things on a sour note. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Uh, overall, I'm excited for the final season of this show. Hopefully you guys are excited and hopefully, 
um, people can be good people. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see how you guys feel. Otherwise, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you wanna see the full uncut version of anything I watch on the channel, including this show, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.